everybody and welcome to another vlog with me. I just got back from Houston to visit my family for my birthday and I am just so many things to unpack right now and I think that the time is like 10 o'clock, 10.30 and I have work tomorrow, probably in the morning and I don't even know where I'm supposed to go, what I'm supposed to do so I'm just gonna unpack, start with this. Uh, but by the way, this is gonna be my birthday week vlog every year, um, especially this year since I turn a quarter of a century, I make a big deal out of my birthday because any reason to celebrate life is a good enough reason for me. So I go all out. So this week is gonna be about my rotation in neurology, medical school as always, and then we're gonna finish it off with another birthday weekend next week, uh, instead of with my family, with my best friends. My family knows that I love pushing. If you're new to this channel and don't know much about me, I'm pretty obsessed with pushing the cat. And uh, for my birthday, I got a lot of pushing things, which um, I don't know, that's awesome that my family knows me so well. Okay, so I ate. <laughs> oh my gosh, I look so crazy right now. Super spicy food. I have school tomorrow and it is 11.44 and I need to go to sleep. I need to look at my schedule and see what the heck I'm doing tomorrow. I guess I have to take a shower. Oh my goodness, life, man. That's what we do. One day at a time. Okay guys, so I was able to get cleaned up and uh, unpack so everything is back to normal. So come with me as we go through a week of general neurology. Good night everybody and I will see you on my first day tomorrow. Good morning everybody. Um, people ended up texting me what time I'm supposed to be there and what I'm supposed to wear so we're all good. All right guys, I am headed out. We have to wear nice clothes and we have to leave right now. Hey guys, it's about noon, noon o'clock and I, oops, oh my gosh, accidentally pressed both the buttons and I am going on my lunch break, which I'm just saying, having an attending tell us, hey, go have a lunch break, does not always happen, so I am appreciating this. Finally home, starting the day with a strawberry banana smoothie. First thing I'm going to do is take off this nail polish. I give patient care with my nails looking like that. Clean all my makeup brushes from this weekend. Okay, that is done. Showered. Now it's time to make it through four videos of online med ed and then I'm going to sleep. Okay, for neurology and pediatrics, I'm watching a video over headache tremor, upper airway, and lower airway for pediatrics. Hey guys, I slept for 12 hours and I have to go to work now, so. Okay, let's go. <laughs> this week is hospital week, so they'll keep doing little fun, very bad things. On my break, answering lots of different emails, doing questions, and watching my online petted videos. And I have to be back in 14 minutes, so doing the most. Releasing my apartment. This is the last year that I will need my apartment. So I stayed at this apartment for the entire four years that I was in medical school. So interesting, I signed it when I was nobody. No, I'm just kidding, when I was a college graduate and I will be ending it as a doctor in the four years. Four years really is not that long of a time. I'm afraid I do have a mold problem. An infestation, actually. Okay guys, day is over. The med student at with a, that I was with said they were going to the gym, and I can't relate. Okay guys, so I am back home in my cozy apartment, wrapped in pushing like everyone should be. Fascinating news. I got the grade of my surgery self-exam back, so. Let's check that out. On my shelf exam, I got a 84, which is the equivalent of the 90 of a 95. So that must mean an 84 is pretty good. And then on my midterm, I got an 86. Let's pray that's good enough for an A, because I could really use an A in my future career goals. <laughs> okay guys, I'm feeling a little bit exhausted. I've been up since 6 a.m. So uh, running out of steam, making myself a strawberry banana smoothie to kind of Get me through. By the way, let me tell you all a little bit about neurology. It was funny, my attending was telling me today, in the early 1900s, they split 
a part psychiatry and neurology because they thought, you know, there are different things, there are different problems. Neurology is more of like physical problems and psychiatry is more like a functional problem, whatever that means. But honestly, everything has an organic cause. Psychiatric issues don't just come from nowhere. Neurology and psychiatry are both based on the brain and they all come from the brain. So I always kind of was confused as to why they were handled by separate physicians even though it's the same organ. It's not like psychiatry comes like from the soul or from something that's abstract and different from the brain. Everything's about the brain. But I digress. Let's talk about neurology. So, um, it all started naturally. Obviously, we deal with things like strokes and headaches and seizures. But other things that you may forget have everything to do with neurology include Huntington's, ALS, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, a wide variety of anything that has to do with the brain or the spinal cord. Like when I was in internal medicine, we get there really early, we chart check our patients, and then I go see my patient, and then I tell my residents what I found, and then we all as a team, the residents, the attending, and the medical students, we go see all the patients one by one. And then we go on lunch break. And then our attending usually lectures us afterwards. Uh, today we had a lecture about the neuro exam. And the neuro exam is, is the most lengthy physical exam that there is, I think, that you can perform on a patient. That has like five different parts. First, you have to check their mental status. What's your name? What day is it? And where are you? Those might sound like easy questions, but a lot of patients don't know what month it is or why they're at the hospital. Then we check the cranial nerves. Optic nerve, your facial nerve, your olfactory nerve which is a nerve that helps you smell there's 12 of them and so you have to assess all of them then you have to assess their motor function some people are very rigid and some people have like no tone at all some people have pretty cachectic limbs like I do except this is normal for me and then some people are extremely buff and then after motor they're sensory so you have to touch different aspects of their body and ask them if they can feel it and then you have to see if they can assess vibration, pain, temperature, because those are actually all mediated by different types of sensory nerves. Then you have to assess their gait, then you have to assess coordination, then you have to assess their reflexes, and that's pretty much our day. It's about 3 o'clock and I have been resting at home for about an hour and 30 minutes already, so I have plenty of time for the rest of the day to get caught up continuing my side study of peds while also studying neurology for my shelf exam, which is in two weeks. I had a fantastic day at work, but now it's time for some online med ed. The reason why I do that is because it has so many questions that can get asked, and it becomes a board favorite. One, because it's the most common career form movement disorder. Oh, hey, online med ed has a video about little brothers. <laughs> Isn't that convenient? Can't wait to watch. This is the headache that you've had many times before. You wake up, you didn't sleep well. Maybe I drank too much last night. The neighbors are, par are partying too loud. You're guys finally all caught up in my studies it is 11 o'clock if I go to sleep right now I'll get seven hours of sleep so good night everybody and see you tomorrow hi everybody so um, I don't know if you recognize the student lecture room I never come back here anymore obviously but I did it when I was a first and a second year and we are about to talk about our feelings and our strong character traits I did a survey and my strongest character trait was humor so now we're going to uh, talk about our feelings uh, with do you want to be part of my video? Ooh, sure. Uh, now we're going to talk about our feelings. What was your number one character trait? Ooh, my number one character trait, definitely perseverance. We're only going to focus on one aspect. I want to... Order your food. Okay. Now, at first I was like, oh... <sighs> I'm a really picky eater. Well, I am too, so... We hate everything. Yeah. I like okay, guys. Smoothie time. Which must mean your girl is trying to find desperate attempts at finding motivation to study. It is so hard to concentrate on step two studying when all I can think about is this weekend. <laughs> also guys, I have been applying to a lot of different away rotations 
And uh, let me show you all the ones that I've applied to. So I've applied to Texas A&M, UT Medical Branch, Baylor. You know Texas schools because uh, away rotations are away, right? I need a place to live. So if it was in Texas, a place where I'm pretty familiar with, that would be awesome. Let me kind of explain what away rotations are because I don't think everybody knows. Now, you know how I've been doing rotations through all the fields of medicine? Like I did a rotation through surgery. Before that, I did a rotation in internal medicine medicine and before that psychiatry. So I've kind of been rotating through all the fields of medicine. By now, as a third year, I should have decided what I want to do. Which one of these do I like the most? And that's definitely a hard decision. By now, optimally, you would have decided what field you want to go into. And once you've decided that, you have fourth year where you do like electives. But during fourth year is a great time to do away rotations. So you do rotations, but you do them at another school. Away rotations are really important for things like like emergency medicine, surgery, urology, ENT, because in a few months I need to start getting ready to apply for residencies, which means that I need to start getting skills for that field of medicine that I want, and I need to start getting letters of recommendation, and I need to start thinking about what schools I want to apply to. Away rotations are a really good way of going to another school, doing another rotation in either emergency medicine or surgery, getting to know faculty at this school, and deciding if you like that school. And if you do an away rotation at a school and you do well, that school will recognize you when you're applying for residencies and they will be more likely to pick you because they know you and if they like your work they will hopefully pick you. So that's what away rotations are. I've applied to do a rotation at these schools to show them my skills so that I can impress them, get a letter of rec maybe, get on their good side when it's time for them to decide who they want to pick as their new residence. It's been pretty expensive just to even apply because all of these schools require things like background checks, other school needed a urine drug screen, another school needed a mask fitting, and just that is over a hundred dollars of things that I had to do to apply. So I haven't even been accepted by anybody yet. Fingers crossed that at least one person will accept me as an away rotation because I at least need like one away rotation. All right guys, time to go to my last day of work this week. Let's go. We're done with our, um, what is this? Our first week at this new- General neurology. We're done with our th third second, our third week of yeah. neurology. And now we are going home and apparently there's goodie bags. So we're gonna go look for those. We get water bottles. Oh my gosh, look at that. M&M's. Look at that. Oh Happy my gosh. Week. Yay, hospital week. You see an anal fissure in an adult. You're usually thinking of somebody who's got a tight ass. That is literally, they squeeze and then they have a big bowel movement, a hard constipated bowel movement, and they tear the anal mucosa. Hello guys, so I just came back from a research meeting where I was discussing potentially getting involved in a new research project which has to do with surgery, which I'm very excited about because any way that I can continue to get involved in the surgical field is where I want to be. I just took a lunch break eating a Subway sandwich and now I don't have anything to do for the next hour. So I guess I might as well do some you wrote questions because guess what? Today is Friday. Today is Friday and tomorrow is my big birthday bash. And so today I am gonna try to get into the Ariana Grande concert. So I'm here at our lecture. Uh... Is this what it feels like to be early? Oh my goodness. Finally home. Yes, mama?
Okay guys, so we have ourselves a bit of a predicament. Ariana Grande is coming into town today and she's going to have an amazing concert and I'm a big Ariana Grande fan. I had not planned this at all. I don't have a ticket and I'm the only one I know who is going. So I think that if I buy a ticket, it's probably just going to be me, which that's fine. I've done that before. I mean, like I don't let people not wanting to go with me to do things stop me from living my life. I'm on Ticketmaster, I'm on Vivid Seats, Dub Hub, Game Time. I'm following all of these websites so that I can find a ticket that's less than $100 and isn't total trash. And as soon as I can find one, hopefully I can find one, I'm going to get up and go because this concert is literally in two hours and I look like this and I don't have a ticket. So, um, interesting. My computer screen is half Ariana Grande, half U World right now. <sighs> the prices are dropping, but haven't dropped low enough. I have to stay till the end to get my ticket. Update guys, it's almost seven o'clock. The uh, concert is at 7.30 or eight o'clock and I still don't have tickets. So. Okay, there are literally 10 minutes left before um, many websites stop even selling tickets any longer. So I need to make some sort of decisions. Oh my gosh, guys. I somehow just got a general admission ticket. <laughs> to go to her concert. I just pressed submit order. It's still verifying right now, so I don't even know if I'm gonna get the tickets. I'm just really confused right now. This is still saying we're securing your verified tickets, and I only have two minutes left to even get these tickets, so. Literally, what the heck? Hurry up and verify! Okay, I literally have no idea what's about to happen right now because I'm about to run out of time, and this thing is still verifying, um, so. Wow, that is nice. I am so salty right now that it's not even funny. <laughs> oh my God, guys, I'm about to buy it. Securing my ticket. I got floor one, row two. I'm literally right there. This is the stage. I, I literally did not want to be general admission because I'm not trying to stand and get into that mosh pit. I am too old for that. I'm not old for that, I'm just way too, like, that's for people who can handle uh, being pushed and dealing with drunk people. And that's not me. That's not me anymore. I better start getting ready, so be right back. Okay, I got my ticket. Great. Her event started an hour ago, and I still have to drive there and pay exuberant amount on parking. I'm going all by myself. Because, you know, that's what life's all about. These last minute horrible decisions that you make. All right, I have to leave. Bye guys. Uh, <laughs> Apparently I'm so late that I didn't even have to pay for parking because everyone's gone. <laughs> oh my gosh guys, I'm in. I'm in. Oh, are you fast? Okay, all right, all right. I mean, oh my gosh. gosh. Oh my gosh guys, this is insane. This is unbelievable. We are ready to be bougie and live the bougie life, if but for a minute. So, we'll see you in there. Oh, this place holds a special place in my heart. Oh my gosh. This is the, the lap of luxury right here. This is happening, Adora. We're not, we upgraded. We're not just little med students anymore. We are grown professionals that look like Ariana Grande. That's what's going on. All right, 604, 607, 606. Just looking for 609. We are here. We're at Voodoo Donuts, where they serve gourmet donuts of all varieties. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, so yeah, I don't really have any more footage from last night. <laughs> Thank you guys as always for watching this week's vlog. I am in the middle of trying to get my life together, edit and upload this video for you guys so that I can restart all my studying and classes starting tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next vlog. Goodbye everybody!